Hey guys, April here from the Gumboo Garden. Today I wanted to have a chat with you about a bunch of the different types of insects that you might see in your garden. And we're gonna separate these out between the good guys and the bad guys. And we're gonna talk about those bad guys first. So a lot of these harmful insects or bad guys that we're seeing in the garden are actually plant sucking insects, which means that they're either sucking on the stems, the leaves, or even the fruit of our garden plants. Some of them are quite small and you'll find them primarily on the underside of your leaves, so don't forget to be checking under those. These are things like your aphids, your white fly, your scale, your thrips, um, and many other ones. So the first ones that we're actually going to talk about are the aphids. Aphids, you usually won't just find one, but you'll find a whole colony of these guys. And they're a tiny insects that are about the size of a pin top, and they come in a variety of different colors. You might see them in black, green, brown, red, and the list goes on. But you'll also usually see them paired up with ants. Because they're releasing that sugary substance or secretion, the ants want to go and get that. Next are your white flies. Literally, these are just tiny white flies. And they're so tiny, they'll be the ones on the underside of your leaves, along with those aphids. And you have your mealy bugs, little whitish gray furry bugs that come in numbers. So they're usually easily eradicated by either squashing them or taking a q-tip with some rubbing alcohol and rubbing that over the infected area and they tend to like house plants and fruit trees then you have your scale and your scale again literally looks like scales on your plant and they come in brown gray and white any sections of your plant that are heavily infected with the scale you just want to clip that off bag that up and put it in the trash. Just make sure you're not putting it in your compost bin. And then we have our stink bugs or any type of shield bug. These bugs are a little bit bigger and they come in brown or green or sometimes they might have different specks of color on them as well. They are one of those insects that are going to be feeding on your fruits and they'll leave either lighter colored or even whitish spots on things like tomatoes. Now the tomatoes are still edible but it's just not as appealing. We want to squash these bugs and then leave them at the base of the plants and they should let a, kind of a, a not nice smell release from them and that will hopefully deter more of those bugs from coming around because they'll know that like hey something's up there was obviously some sort of enemy there let's steer clear then we have our vine hoppers their babies look like white and fluffy and we often call them fluffy bums here in New Zealand and if you try to squash these they're actually going to hop and fly all around you at you yeah then we have our squash bugs and the squash bugs primarily affect our pumpkins or our squash hence the name squash bugs but they can also attack our cucumbers as well you want to try to detect these insects early because once they get to the adult stage, they can move quite quickly. Then you have your thrips and thrips are just tiny, slim, usually black insects that are going to be on the leaves of your plant. And spider mites, which spin little tiny webs on the leaves and also leave yellow or brown spots from feeding on your leaves. That can eventually kill the leaf. And then in larger infestations, it can actually kill the plant. Can you move to the side, please? I'm trying to do a video here. Yeah. Can you scoop, scoop back, 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 back? For all of these plant sucking insects, usually neem oil is a pretty good choice for trying to get rid of them. The neem oil you spray onto your plant and then when the plant sucking insects actually suck up some of your plant juice, they'll also suck up some of that neem oil and that will help get rid of them. If we move on to the next type of bad guy, we can talk about the leaf miners. Now leaf miners are a little bit different from the plant sucking insects in the fact that they're smaller and they their mouths aren't big enough to actually suck up from the outside of the leaves. They will actually burrow inside of your leaves 
and then they make little tunnels eating all of your plant tissues and sugars as they go along. So they're a little, that's a little bit gross to look at. Then we have those bigger insects that are not just sucking on your plants, they're actually eating your leaves. And they might consume your whole, a whole leaf of a plant. They might consume all of the leaves of your plant and it can stop the plant from actually being able to photosynthesize because there aren't any leaves on it to do that. And these are things like your caterpillars, your cabbage worms, your tomato hornworms, um, any of those different types of caterpillars or worms, but also your grasshoppers and your slugs. But now that we've brought up all of these bad, harmful insects, let's talk about some of the good guys because there are plenty of good guys that are in your garden helping you out. And it's good to know what these are so you're not killing off the wrong insects. So we obviously know one of the most beneficial insects in our garden are the bees. They're obviously there, they're pollinating, they're helping us get a bigger harvest. We love bees but there are also some other good guys. We have a roly polies. These guys could get a little bit of a bad rap, but they are ultimately good guys. The roly polies, they are found in your soil and they're actually breaking down the dead and decaying plant matter and helping you to have a healthier soil. Once in a while, they might get carried away and chomp on some roots that they're not supposed to, but ultimately your roly polies are your good guys. We also have ants. They also get a bad rap, <laughs> but your ants are also like taking some of those dead bugs out of your garden, but also they're alerting you to a lot of those sap sucking insects. So like I had mentioned earlier, they love to pair up with aphids. So if you see a whole bunch of ants traveling up one of your plants, have a look for aphids because they might be there as well. Then we have all of the good guys that are eating the bad guys. And these are things like your ladybugs or your lady beetles. So your adult ladybug is obviously a hard shell. It's, you know, red or red and black, or maybe yellow and black, but you're, the larva of this is black. It's just like a little red dot and it doesn't look anything like a ladybug. So then we have our spiders. The larger the spider, the more it's going to help you in your garden. Spiders really are good guys, as creepy as they are. And there's the praying mantis. These guys are beautiful. They're eating things like your aphids, your beetles, but also like caterpillars and mosquitoes. So they're really awesome. And your lace wings. Your lace wings, as adults, they're feeding on the nectar. It's the larva that's really helping us out. They're eating your aphids, your mealybugs, your thrips, and your white fly. So the lace wings, they're good guys. Now we have a bit of a controversial one that we're going to add to the good guy list and these are your wasps because I know a lot of people really do not like wasps. They're like really aggressive um, and we just kind of have to watch out for them but they are doing good in the garden. They are eating caterpillars and all sorts of insects and pests that might be feeding on our plants. So those wasps, you know, just give them a little bit of space but they're in there doing good. And a lot of times like if you see, you know, a bunch of wasps in one area or around one plant, that probably is also an indicator that there are a lot of those pests on that plant. So you might want to have a look yourself once the wasps are gone. But those are a ton of the different insects that you're going to see in your garden throughout the summer. And now you know which ones are the good guys and which ones are the bad guys. So I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. See you guys.